Howdy guys, Paleo Chris. I'm out today on the river and I'm going to be doing a little bit of fossil hunting for Pleistocene age vertebrate fossils. I have my canoe up here that I'm about to launch in the water. There's a thunderstorm coming in and I'm gonna be in the water in Florida. So yes, there is the risk of alligators. Fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I do have my GoPro on my mask so I can take you underwater with me and you are at less risk of getting bit by an alligator than I am. So, uh, if I survive, it'll be a fun time for sure. I think we'll find some great stuff. Uh, let's get to it. Maybe we'll see some cool stuff on the boat ride. Let's go. I'm going to turn the GoPro on so you guys can come with me. We're going to avoid the alligators, hopefully. I think the storm missed us, so that's one plus so far. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Okay, I'm seeing something, guys. Hold on. It's an otter, bro. What? He's scratching his head. See him? He's sitting right there in the middle of the frame, right under that branch. Scratching his head with his back leg like a dog. That is a water dog right there. Boom, gone into the bottom of the river again. All right, I'm about to get in the water. I Hopefully I'm not gonna run into that little otter. I don't want to disturb him too much, but uh, I'm ready to find some stuff. Here we go. to start out with. That's a, a white-tailed deer, a stragglus, a giant tortoise, spur, half of a horse tooth, shark tooth, and a uh, gi giant armadillo piece of the shell. Well, I'll see you there. So I'll throw that in my bag here. Not bad to start out with though. Thank <laughs> you. 
One thing to keep in mind if you go to do something like this is you are going to need a permit to collect fossils on state lands. There will be all the information on how to do that in the description below. I just got out of the water and I have to head upstream before it gets dark on me. I'm starting to hear the owls. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of what everything is. These are two little pieces of mammoth teeth. You can tell by the little lines of enamel. These are little bird bones, Eocene pufferfish mouth plates, Eocene shark teeth, Eocene crab claw, that's pretty uncommon. The little pinchers would have been coming out of there on both sides. These are two different species of giant armadillo. This is a smaller earlier species. This is a larger uh, later species. Two camel teeth, one of which is split, but one is a complete premolar. We have little fragments of horse teeth here. We have white-tailed deer astragalus bones. We have white-tailed deer teeth. We have the little spurs uh, or body armor to uh, giant tortoises. This is where when they tucked into the shell, it protect their front legs. Turtle shell right here. Soft shell turtle here and here. You can tell by the texture on the top. This is a turtle endoplasteron here. It's like a natural peace sign. Uh, turtle neutral scoot. Then we have al an alligator jaw here. Alligator teeth. Alligator osseoderms or scoots. Uh, what else? We have manatee teeth over here. We have tapir teeth here. Pretty cool looking stuff. Then my favorite finds of the day by far, these are teeth to a type of antelope that lived in the early, early Pleistocene. So uh, this was known as Capramerix arizonae, and uh, they're very rare. I think there was one, one jaw down there most likely that just fell apart. These are most certainly associated. They're all in the same spot like that. Um, so yeah, that's an awesome find. I'm super happy with that. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you want to see more videos of scuba diving, finding these kinds of fossils, and I will go out and make those videos. I'll see you in the next one.